The battlefront of the world, this neighbor at war, has sent men, food, airplanes, guns, and ships. W-I-C-R. Welcome back, guys, to two guys and a gal. Hey. 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 Funky. Hey. All right. To wrap up our lovely, fabulous show, what's a two guys and a gal show without make it happen, make it stop? So lately, everywhere, I feel like I be on the... That can only mean one thing. Hey. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hey. <laughs> but it's everywhere. Hot Lumbling is everywhere now that the the video was released last week. And before we talk about Hotline Bling, let's talk about the war between Meek Mill and Drake is still there. Drizzy. Yes. Drizzy. Drake. So now, this is from Celeb Buzz. Meek Mill is now coming after Drake's dance moves. Perha- perhaps, perhaps, excuse me, realizing that his numerous diss tracks were doing more damage to his own career than his nemesis' street cred, Mill has bad streak skills and hopes to continue that their fired feud and keep his name in the headlines. <laughs> he, while performing on at the Powerhouse's 99... Power 99... Wow, I can't even think straight today. Power 99's Powerhouse Philly 2015 on Friday night, where he was seen kissing girlfriend and rumored fiance, Nicki Minaj. Mill lashed out and mocked Drake's new meme making music video for Hotline Blake. He said, I can't understand. Was that a joke? No, I got the hottest chick in the game, Mill told the crowd. You ain't gonna have me up here looking like Drake. Oh. <laughs> Mill also reportedly told the crowd that Drake has two left feet taking aim at Drake's moves in the video. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> come on, me. Get over it. Come He's on, trying me. so hard he right is. now. It's terrible. What you uh, gonna do, Meek and Nick? Nick and Meek me and <laughs> What you gonna do, Meek and it? That's what I meant. <laughs> Meek yes. and it. But needless to say, if you are alive and have a pulse and have a social media account, I've seen countless... It's making me mad. It's, I'm using my Italian hands right now. <laughs> Memes about the stupid music video. I think the music video is hysterical because he looks like he's doing the bachata or doing <laughs> like some Carlton type moves. <laughs> but can we talk about the memes that? What's your, like? If have if you've seen any of these memes, do you remember your favorite one? Because I have two favorites. So I like the one where he where he's like backhanding. He's like doing a backhand move. It's that one. Yeah, he's like doing, and I personally, I love the memes. He Drake is so smart for releasing this music video, because the music video is just him dancing, and it's like he knew what he was doing when he released it. Like the the video has absolutely no cohesion. It's just really, it's just, it's just, yeah. Well, not not that it has no cohesion. It's just Drake. It has no theme. It's literally just Drake dancing. And like Nick and like Nicki colors. Like, yeah. And like and like in some some girls in the background. Like he so he knew that he knew, he knew that he needed the big the basic you know sex appeal for. Uh, a music video so he, he had the girls and then he knew that he needed some form something that was gonna make the video viral and he was smart for doing the exactly he, he's playing to this this new he's age of yes he's playing to this new age of the meme and the gif and true yes and and so that's what this video was that's that's all this video was meant to do what and do think, it was so smart I mean, it was funny at the beginning. I remember the one where he's like playing tennis on the one we scored. With Serena Williams. Yeah, they had one where he was on. Uh, it was Bob's Burgers. And, like Jimmy Pesto Jr. was dancing around with Tina. That was funny. <laughs> but it, I just feel like it's getting out of hand now. I've, every yeah. day you wake up, there's like 20 different new memes. Right? I was like, come on. I this think it's hilarious. I, I don't want them to stop. Honestly, Can I see. I just saw one yesterday where he was like, he was um serving. He was serving cards at like at a at a <laughs> <laughs> at a card table. Oh my god. <laughs> like at a cas- Casino. It was so no. funny. <laughs> some of them are f- funny, but then some of them are just corny. My my two favorite ones. One of them's corny. One of them's hysterical. Do you guys watch old school Disney? Yeah. Yeah. You know the Lizzie McGuire movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sing to me, Paolo. <laughs> but they, that scene where Lizzie McGuire is singing what, what dreams are made of. Yeah, yeah They yeah. put the Drake dancing to that song like, Hey now, hey now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw him with Napoleon Dynamite. Like they put Napoleon Dynamite when he does the butterfly dances, and like that whole scene when he's on, he's performing for like right. go for Pedro type thing. Mm-hmm. And they put it side by side with Drake, and it was quite similar. It was scary. It was a little scary. Was a little I scary. mean, that's just that's just proof of like. <laughs> 
how much this video will no matter no matter no matter how much airplay this video doesn't get on tv or like anywhere like on the radio or like let's say this song just you know just completely just loses its traction on radio yeah. right this video will live on on the internet because of these memes i agree and because of the gifs it's just it's 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 i think it's just so creative and just ingenious yeah, from andrake's part yeah mm -hmm. so to wrap this segment up because we gotta wrap this whole entire show up Make it. Make these Drake memes stop. Make it happen. Make it stop. Robbie, right. you first. Make it happen. I'm I'm all for it. I think it's hilarious. Hilarious. You sound like Anajite when you say that. Okay, well, hilarious. I think, hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Mario, what do you think? Make it happen. Uh, stop. The corny ones need to stop. But if you got creative ideas and they're funny, please make it happen. I'm in the fence about this one. I'm, I'm usually like all for make it happen or just make it stop. I think the Lizzie McGuire ones need to happen and stay relevant. <laughs> just Lizzie McGuire. Just the Lizzie McGuire yeah. ones because that is what dreams are made of. <laughs> no pun intended. And, but I think like, the Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> ones got to stop. But on that note, it's been a great show today, guys. <laughs> Later on in the day, we're taking a field trip to ask Steve Massiel of the, uh, the Manhattan College Jaspers. What exactly is a Jasper? So we'll put that up on YouTube somewhere later on this week. So excited to take my two guys and me, the Gale, over on to Riverdale. So, uh-oh. 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 <laughs> we're going to take a break and we're going to make some questions uh -oh. Uh -oh. up for Steve Massiello. Steve, point to the camera, guys. We're coming to you. We're coming for you. So we'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys hopefully on Thursday for Radiothon. So see you guys soon. Peace. Peace. WICR presents This Moment in History.